What's up guys? I'm gonna do one more video and I might take a break for a week. And, um, maybe I'll do a live stream next time I do a video and and I'll ask you guys can ask me questions, give me topics to talk about and if you guys are struggling with something in this the shit world and the suffering shit I can help you give advice you know I'm not a therapist or anything but I try my best to help someone that's going through something that you didn't ask for you know like Jamar Brown you know like if you guys are going through something whatever it is maybe I can't relate 100% like like if it's, if it, if it's like my upbringing because my upbringing's not too bad or if it's uh, something I never had or never experienced or or something I can relate to you know maybe I can help give advice you know and help you guys cope with this suffering world you know I don't know so but um but back to the topic I'm, I'm trying to say uh, I want to talk about genetics and how it relates to antinatalism and how it's so selfish to even bring a person when the person says oh I have the right genetics to have a kid you know and nothing will happen to the kid genetically and all this shit like even if you have the his perfect fucking genes right doesn't mean that kid will have may lose a chromosome or something that's how selfish that is it, it's a probability and it's random you know what I mean? and it's just fucked up. It's all luck, and that's all it is. That's all I think. And these parents are selfish because of that. Well, because of someone's genes. You know what I mean? Um. Yeah, it's just it's just a never-ending cycle, and all because they just want to have the same genes the right healthy ones and it's never want to end the suffering and that doesn't mean the next kid will have the same genes as you you know and it doesn't mean that everything is random something can fuck up or it could have the right genes to, to, to not suffer as much I guess uh, and genetics is just oh, have a kids because you just want healthy genes like you feel healthy your what am I saying your genes you feel like your genes are healthy and you feel like having a kid will have the healthiest genes is false it could be true but that's not a hundred percent they're still gonna go through suffering even if you have the, the healthiest genes out there they're still gonna suffer in some way right and like they could like get a job right and they have the healthiest genes and you know you don't have mental health issues or nothing you can lose the job and then all of a sudden you get mental health issues <laughs> you know there's so much shit and and like attractiveness too like some people think that genetics plays a role and i i agree but you know and all because you have good attractive looks and genes that does mean the kid will have those things and what and what I think about attractiveness and physically and stuff is all subjective and everyone's different and everyone thinks someone's attractive because of different reasons physically you know like some people may think you're ugly and you may think you have the best good looking genes or some people may think you're good looking you know that's all a personal preference and and uh it's very subjective you know uh what's another one with genes right oh if i'm really smart right i got a huge iq that means that kid will that doesn't mean shit that person could like have like a very low iq when you even you have the smartest iq out there you just want to live a all because your selfishness and your your desires think that you can keep living that smart like like IQ and it's just it's so selfish man you know and or that could could have like a huge IQ I don't know and what's the point 
with the IQ stuff, right? Like, it's just a never-ending cycle, the suffering, and all they're suffering for is to try to never, try to stop it, and the only way to stop it is to not bring kids here, and I think they're gonna have a utopia, and having a huge IQ will fix it, and that doesn't mean anything, man. Seriously, so. Um... And changing genes, like that eugenic shit, like, that's selfish too, they didn't ask for it, man. They didn't ask for it, that, that's the whole point, they no, like, when you're born, you never asked for this shit. Even, all because of your selfish shit, you didn't ask for that kid to have those things, and it's just selfish, man, I hate it, you know, and, uh. <clears throat> yeah, it's it's just it's just something I don't like, dude. Seriously. It just people love to judge people on how gifted genetic you are, what your genes are, and they say, oh, you shouldn't have kid like. I'll say that's kind of a good thing. If your genetics are bad, you shouldn't have kids. I don't know. <laughs> you know what I mean? But people should, shouldn't should be judgmental in general, like my one video, you know. And once you see judgmental shit and judgmental people, and it's like a virus, like COVID, it spreads and shit. And I, I think that's the biggest pandemic out there, judgmental people, and it spreads, and... That just makes you not want to bring kids in this world, regardless of genetics and all that crap, you know. Yeah, um, it's just annoying, man. Genes. Like all the, the whole point is like I'm gonna end this video now. Is all because you have the greatest genetics, shouldn't, you shouldn't have kids. It's selfish. It's fucked up, so maybe I'll do one more and that's it.